Hey loves, welcome to the 2020 Fall Decorate With Me Spectacular. I got a ache inside of me It's a deep hole where I bleed Oh, can I see you later? And I'm so excited because today's video is in collaboration with one of my sweet friends here on YouTube, Natalie Bennett. Natalie is a mama of three. She has twin boys, Liam and Judah, and a little girl, Haley. And our boys are around the same age, and our daughters, I believe, were born within a couple weeks of each other because we were both doing our pregnancy updates around the same time. That's how I found her here on YouTube. But what I love about Natalie's channel is she does a series of going minimal, simplifying life making things easier and she's a woman of faith and she's just somebody that I really look up to when it comes to how artistic she films her videos everything is shot so beautifully she's such a talented creator here in the YouTube space so today she is doing her fall decorate with me video as well so she'll have more of the minimal style of decor and then if you're new here hi I'm Brianna welcome thank you so much for stopping by I like to go a little extra over the top. That's just always been my personality. So that's why this is a fall decor spectacular today. So I hope that you enjoy seeing both styles and that you get a big dose of fall decor inspiration. But when you're done watching this video, if you haven't checked out Natalie's channel yet, go over, binge her videos, let her know in the comments that I sent you and make sure you subscribe to her channel. And if Natalie sent you here, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around. I'm a mom of two, going on three, little babe who's due in November, and I do cleaning, decorating, homemaking, and mommy vlogs on my channel and try to share the lessons that I learned and the mistakes that I've made along the way and try to help you not feel alone, have a friend on the internet, and learn new things in every single video if I can help you. That's my ultimate goal. So would love to have you subscribe and stick around and I hope that you enjoy all of the fall decor in today's video. And a little game in today's video, let me know how many pumpkins you think I have in my home. We'll see if any of you are close. We're getting started decorating for fall in my family room today, so get ready for a fall mantle makeover. I cannot wait <laughs> that we're going to be adding some cozy fall pillows and throw blankets and decorating the entertainment center in here. And make sure you let me know in the comments how you like the 2020 fall decor. And let me know at the end which room makeover was your favorite. I always like knowing which decor transformations you like the best. I swear that I'm so but just listen I miss you and I know that I said all these things but now when you're with her I can see that and be sure to keep watching this video because this video has some fall treat recipes I don't want you to miss it also has a bath and body works fall 2020 candle haul and a full fall decor house tour I'm going to be walking through all of the fall decor and I'm just sharing way more behind the scenes of my fall decor than I've ever shared with you before in this video, so don't miss a minute. And I get asked a lot how I store all of my decor. If you want all the details, check out my last video. It's an extreme clean and undecorate with me. And I show you all of my storage bins, how I label everything. But I do like using these vacuum bags for storing my seasonal pillows so that they take up less space in the linen closet upstairs. And if you would like some free printables to help you stay organized, 
head over to bitsofbreeco.com. I have all of my free printables over there, as well as the recipes that I make in my videos for you. And I've got some recipes coming up later that are really, really good, <laughs> so you don't want to miss them. And if you are interested in any of the fall decor that you see in today's video, check out my description box where I have everything that is available linked for you. I got this buttered pumpkin candle from Joann's this year. I'm seriously obsessed with the fall scented candles and I just love the amber color of the jar. But I will be sharing, again, all of my fall bath and body works candle haul with you a little later in this video and some of the other stuff I got from there too. And I will be decorating the entertainment center a little later on as well. But I'm moving into the foyer right now, so get ready for some fall foyer table <laughs> decor inspiration. Hey there pumpkin sign is from Joann's last year. It is one of my favorite fall decor pieces. I just love all of the pops of orange in here too. Let me know though, what do you prefer? Do you like traditional fall colors or do you like more neutral decor? Or do you add in really unique pops of color into your decor? I've seen a lot of blues on Pinterest. Let me know in the comments. I always like getting inspiration and new ideas from you.
And since our powder bath gets the most frequently used during the days in our home lately, I figured I'd add a little pop of fall in here too why not be a little extra i saw this welcome to our pumpkin patch sign at joanne's and i had to get it since it had three little pumpkins it just felt too perfect for this fall <laughs> our third little pumpkin that will be joining us somehow wish that someone could say it'll all be okay just listen to me as i say Next on my decorating to-do list is to make over our master bedroom for the fall. I found this gorgeous rust terracotta colored sheet and pillows and a chunky knit blanket. And before we finish that up, I'm actually gonna do the Bath & Body Works candle haul now. Okay, I know one of my favorite videos that I have made in the past is my fall Bath & Body Works haul but I'm gonna put it into today's video because I didn't get too much. It wasn't gonna be like a huge haul. I just kind of got a couple of things this year because because of COVID, I couldn't go into the store and that's normally, honestly, where I feel like I buy a lot more because I can actually smell things. So I just had to go off of the descriptions on the website, but I figured I can explain them to you what they smell like. So the first one I got is Perfect Autumn. I was really hoping that this one would smell like Cider Lane. That was my favorite candle last fall. I don't have it anymore this year, but the notes sounded similar. It smells really good. It's not Cider Lane, but it, it still smells really good. I like it. It is fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove with essential oils. It smells really, really good. I do like the cranberry. I think the difference, like the Cider Lane last year, didn't have the cranberry, but maybe it had sort of the similar like apple pumpkin clove. I got pumpkin pecan waffles because I've gotten this one in the past. Oh, it smells so good. It just makes me want to eat a big old breakfast like from Bob Evans. It's maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar with essential oil. It smells so good. And then this was a new one this year. At least they said it was new. Pumpkin vanilla cream. I was wondering if it was gonna be a little bit, there was a pumpkin vanilla cupcake that I feel like has been out the last couple of years. I'm not sure if it's out this year. I didn't see it online though, but I thought this one smelled good. It is creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nutmeg, graham cracker crust with essential oils. It's almost like a combination of the vanilla pumpkin and I think there was a pumpkin cheesecake one year too. It kind of reminds me of a combo of those. It has that really yummy fall bakery scent. And then I did get some wallflowers. So I got sweet cinnamon pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles, coordinate with that one. And I got vanilla birch for down in Adam's man cave movie room area. And then pumpkin apple. I thought that would be a nice quick start into the fall scents. And then honey crisp apple. I thought that would smell really fresh and clean because this isn't at the body works, but I did get Target right now. The only one they had that was a fall scent was the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent. So I have been cleaning on the daily with homemade cleaning products. If you wanna check out my last like extreme clean with me pregnant one, I, can, I show you in that how to make all of your cleaners homemade. But this is just sort of tradition. I feel like there hasn't been a fall that I haven't used this in my fall decorate with me video. So I had to get it for this video um, and then I got some other hand soap so I got the perfect autumn which this one says it is fresh cranberry spiced pumpkin and crisp apple very fresh and clean I got these two to go together I thought they would look cute in the kids bathrooms they have double things in there so I got perfect pumpkin which is carved pumpkin spooky cinnamon and moonlight vanilla and then Ghoul Friend for Presley side of the sink. It has dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. And it's so funny because Presley's thing after she washes her hands, she's always like, smell my hands, mommy, smell my hands. So she clearly, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. She say she came from my womb. I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like she clearly is a Bath and Body Works fan as well. And this last one I got, I thought this was so cute with the little witch on it. 
This is candy corn treats, and it's enchanted marshmallow, chilling lavender, and candy corn. So those are a little more Halloween themed, but that is it for this year's fall bath and body works. All right, so let's put on those new sheets and pillows and throws. I will have them all linked for you in case you're interested, but it's just an easy way to change things up, add a big pop of color, and you'll have to let me know if you like the new look. Now the label on the sheets said Dusty Rose, but you tell me what you would call this color. There was a little debate going when I posted a picture on Instagram, whether it was burnt orange or rust or terracotta, either way, I like it for fall. <laughs> Let me know if you do too. Now we're moving back downstairs into the kitchen for the fall decor makeover in here. I love adding in pops of Merlot and copper, and I'm gonna be decorating my three-tiered stand too if you're looking for an easy three-tiered stand idea for fall. So for the three-tiered stand, I just bought a garland that coordinated with the wreath that I have on the pantry door, and I cut the garland into three pieces, one smaller piece, a medium, and one larger, and then I used them to wrap around the tier layers, and then I just added in some white and metallic mini pumpkins. It's so simple. You could honestly get all of this at the Dollar Tree, and it is a really easy way to dress up your three-tiered stand for fall. Every day cause I own it I'm fighting all of my life I'm bad and I know And I'm cleaning with the Mrs. Meyers apple cider vinegar scent because I feel like it's just a tradition when I put up my seasonal decor to use a seasonal scented cleaner. I found this online at Target. So I know it's hard to find a lot of cleaners in general right now. And I know Grove does not have their seasonal scents out yet. So if you are looking for it to decorate early, try Target online. I will have a link for it for you too. But when I'm not doing seasonal decor, I really prefer using natural homemade cleaners. So be sure to check out my latest Extreme Clean With Me video if you would like a bunch of homemade cleaning recipes. I have all of those as free printables for you as well over on bitsofbreeco.com. But in that video, I do walk through how to make all of them so that you can see the process. Now that the kitchen is done, I'm going back into the family room to finish up that entertainment center. I had a lot of pumpkins to play around with, so I wanted to decorate everything else, see what I had left, and then decorate these shelves.
now I had to do a good sweep and mop of the floors just to get up all of the dust and some of the fuzz and glitter that always falls off the decor while decorating. Good morning. I know it might not be morning when you're watching this, but it's morning time when I'm filming this. There are a couple of things that didn't arrive. I was waiting for my grocery order because I have some really fun treats I want to make in this video to share with you for fall. And there were a couple of things that came in my Target order too, just to finish up a couple of the spots that I decorated yesterday. And then there's a few things that I just know aren't going to be ready for this video. Like our garden center doesn't have mums yet, but I wanted to show you my fall front porch decor inspo so you can see the look I'm going for. And I'll be sure that I include then that decorating in a future video. So make sure all your notifications are turned on so you don't miss that in an upcoming video. So as far as planning my decorations goes, these are photos from last year actually, but I just knew I was going to be using all of that decor. And then as I shop for it online, I just take the images and paste them into this Google Doc so that I know here's what's coming. So I'm still waiting on this sign that I'm gonna hang over the bench in the foyer. And I'm waiting for those pillows. They're like outdoor pillow covers for the porch. And this is the look I'm going for. Let me make this a little bit bigger. But I got these, I guess they're like apple barrels or bushel barrels is what they're called on Amazon. But that was sort of the look I loved in this picture on Pinterest, how the mums were inside of those barrels. I'm gonna do more like maroon colored mums though, I think, because this is the rug that I got for out there. And this is one of the new like Joanna Gaines in her fall collection. I loved this wreath. I just love that color, how it's almost like a washed out wine color. And I got those hay bales, which P.S. they're a mess. <laughs> Cannot wait to actually get them outside. So then once those baskets come in and I can get my mums, I'll get like maroon and probably white colored mums and then have the white pumpkins all out there. So that was kind of my vision for what our front porch was going to look like. And I just set those there. I don't think I'm gonna leave them like that though because what I actually wanna do is make a tablescape on this table, which I have to wait for a future video, guys, sorry, because I'm still waiting for napkins and a couple of the other things I got to come in. But I got this all from Target, so this like burlap table runner, I love this for fall. And these are from Joanna Gaines Fall Line 2, these little napkin rings. So I'm gonna get white napkins and I have gold chargers and same leaves as that wreath she has garlands in that color. So I was gonna do the garlands like on top of this with white pumpkins and gold leaves and the gold chargers in these. So everything will be like a 
gold and maroon sort of colored tablescape, but that will be coming in a future video. I figured I'd show you this fest too. I saw this little fall bucket list. So I ordered this wood sign. I'm also waiting on that to come in the mail. So I'll have a DIY in an upcoming video too. I'm, I Hopefully it will all come so I can put it in the very next video. So that one we'll be crafting together too. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of fluff this out a little bit. Cause I realized yesterday I needed something to go up there because I had green up there for summer. So the first treat I wanted to share with you in today's video is a sparkling apple cider recipe. This is so refreshing and so good for the fall. And I am making it non-alcoholic, but if you would like to make it, you can use champagne or sparkling wine. But I have apple cider, I have sparkling white grape juice, this is where you can sub in wine, champagne, sparkling. I have sparkling cider, I have two apples and an orange, a can of Sprite, and then for the garnish, you will need sugar, cinnamon nutmeg, and cinnamon sticks. Nothing is untrue. you can always double the recipe. And the last thing I'm going to do then is add the rest of my chopped fruit. I did put some in the cups just so that the cups glasses themselves were extra decorative, but it looks really pretty to add in some of the sliced oranges. And right now cranberries are not out yet, but this would be so pretty if you got some, whether it's fresh cranberries or even frozen cranberries and added them, it would just make the prettiest fall colors for this punch. Garnish this with a cinnamon stick in there. I'm gonna use a straw to taste it. 
Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so refreshing. Cheers to fall. And this next recipe I have is so easy. It is just two ingredients. You'll need apple pie filling and a pack of Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Get the regular size, not the green. And just spray eight of your cupcake holes. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Spray eight of them with the pan. Set the icing to the side. And then take each cinnamon roll and push this into the muffin tin until it makes a cup. Now add two spoonfuls of the apple pie filling into each cup. to 18 minutes at 375 degrees. So I'm just going to pop these out now that they've cooled a bit. And then I just popped the icing in the microwave for 10 seconds so that it was extra runny so that it can drizzle really nicely over the top of your apple pie cups. So I figured I would give a little house tour to end this fall decorate with me video so you can kind of have a walk through of how all of the decorations look. Come into the foyer, you can see the new table set up in here with all of my orange pumpkin decor. I just love the orange, something about it feels really cozy and fall to me. And then if you check out our foyer bench area here, I love this pumpkin garland. It's one of my favorite fall decoration pieces. And I love that now I have three little pumpkins there since we'll have their little pumpkin here soon. And in our bathroom, this is the first year I feel like I added a little bit more to our bathroom. Like this isn't the normal, but I saw this sign and I loved it and thought it was so cute here. My friend Molly actually recommended writing the kids' names 
once we do the name reveal on the little pumpkin. And you can step into the kitchen now. You can see the fall decor in here. I love how it's wine and rose gold sort of splashes, and I love how this space kind of ties in in fun colors. And if you want to check out my three tiered stand over here, it has been decked out for fall. And this guy always cracks me up the spice, spice, baby. <laughs> and I didn't do too much. I feel like I didn't go as over the top in the kitchen this year because I really like when my counters are more cleared. It's easier to clean. So I just kind of focused around our stove area and set some things on each side of the stove and use like the dish towels to add a splash of color in here. Let's go into the family room. And then in our family room area, come on in. I love how this is just so cozy and makes me fun to sit like that on the top. And I love all the orange pillows and the rows. There's just something about it. It just feels like fall and you know, the wind and the wind is very tired in here. But that's actually what I put on just to kind of get in the mood here as I was finishing up the treats and decorating. But I added all of our fall decor around this entertainment center then. So, Lots of pumpkins and fall pictures to go with the season. And then lastly, the mantle got a fall makeover. And I try to keep it really simple because I feel like I know between Halloween decorating and Christmas where that's really where I go extra and all out. I just feel like I like having it like nice, clean and cozy for fall. But let me know how you like the decor down in the comments below. If you like seeing before and after transformations, here are the fall decor room makeovers. Don't forget, in the comments, let me know which room makeover you love the most for fall 2020. We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy Twenty twenty extreme fall decor makeovers in this clean and decorate with me video. I hope you like the Bath and Body Works candle haul, the fall treat recipes, and the fall house tour. I just love homemaking and sharing my home with you virtually now more than ever. So please keep connected and subscribe if you're new. 
You are welcome here. And thank you so much for watching my 2020 fall decor spectacular. Don't forget, check out Natalie Bennett's fall clean and decorate with me video next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.